When cavity temperature cools to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, the screens will display ready to clean. At this point, turn off the emergency disconnect switch. If your oven doesn't have a disconnect switch, simply unplug the oven. Step 1. Remove the conveyor end stops and crumb trays. Step 2. Remove the drive belt cover. Step 3. On the left wing, remove the C-bracket and pin that connects the conveyor door to the actuator arm. Lift the door up about 45 degrees and gently slide the door away from the conveyor assembly. Step 4. Remove the drive belt. Simply rotate the pulley and the belt will slip off. Repeat step 3 at this point. You'll need to tilt the door to get around the pulley. Step 5. Open the front door and remove both jet plates. Step 6. Using a partner, carefully remove the conveyor assembly as shown. Step 7. Place the conveyor assembly over a sink. Spray the assembly with the non-caustic degreaser. For best results, let the degreaser set for 3 to 4 minutes before rinsing. Wipe the assembly with a rag or a scrubbing sponge. Flip the conveyor assembly over and repeat this process. Step 8. Rinse the conveyor end stops and wipe clean. Use the non-caustic degreaser as needed. Step 9. Rinse the crumb trays and wipe clean. Use the non-caustic degreaser as needed. Step 10. Using hot water and soap, gently rinse the air filters and set aside to air dry. Make sure the filters are completely dry before reinstalling. Step 11. Spray the conveyor assembly doors with the non-caustic degreaser, rinse, and wipe clean. Step 12. Spray the jet plates with the non-caustic degreaser and let set for 3 to 4 minutes before rinsing. Wipe clean with a rag or scrubbing brush. Jet plates are stainless steel, so they can be run through a commercial dishwasher. Step 13. Carefully spray the non-caustic degreaser onto areas of the oven where buildup is present. Gently wipe clean. Using your rag, pull out any debris that has accumulated. Never spray chemicals directly at the back wall of the oven where the catalyst vents are shown. Spray the chemical onto your rag and carefully wipe as needed. Step 14. Using a partner, carefully set the conveyor assembly in place, as shown. Step 15. Install the conveyor door, the C-bracket, and the pin on the drive belt side. Step 16. Install the drive belt. Start with the motor pulley, loop the other end over the top of the larger pulley and rotate counterclockwise. The belt will grab the pulley. Slide the pulley cover into place. Step 17. Install one of the crumb trays underneath the wing. There are support tabs where the crumb tray will simply rest. Install the end stops as well. Step 18. Install the conveyor door, C-bracket, and pin on the other side. Step 19. 
Step 19, install the crumb tray and conveyor end stop. Step 20, using a commercial stainless steel polish, spray the exterior and wipe clean. Step 21, install both jet plates. For 24-hour customer care assistance, please call 855-298-OVEN, 298 -OVEN.